Hello Aquarius, so this is your reading for March 2020. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? Please keep in mind this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. And I pulled a, a chakra card, okay? I meditated and I pulled this card. Um, I'm getting a life path number six, six for lovers as well in Gemini, okay? Um... Aquarius. So you are being called to listen, okay? Now there is a message I feel that your spirit guides um, are wanting to connect with you. It says, I listen and hear the words of wisdom loud and clear. This is clear audience, okay? Um, it says, take some time to meditate and explore the silence in order to hear the powerful message of the divine. So it's really telling you to pull back and it's really telling you to make a decision, okay? Um, to listen to, to your intuition and to um, put that in a structure and a stability, okay? Use this every day, okay? It's telling you to listen, okay? Not only to listen, but to hear it, okay? Um, this is definitely your throat chakra and it's, it's an energy that some, somebody wants to tell you something. Okay. Listen to what's being said from your other person as well. Um, if you are in a twin flame connection or in a soulmate connection, if not, just listen for affirmations as well. Um, it could be in a form of a sign within your mind space, uh, within the third eye chakra, there is a message that is wanting to get through to you. It could be through songs, um, through other people, just listening and also, um, it can also represent that you're not listening deep enough to this message, okay, or to a specific message. So let's see what's going on here with you, okay? It's telling you, it's like needing to listen to both sides of the story here, okay? So let's put this here. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, this is for Aquarius, March 2020. When is the message coming through for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hmm. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So we are in this uh, full moon. Okay. This is the warm moon. This is a time to release anything. This is Aquarius season as well. Let's see what's going. I mean, not Aquarius, Aries. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. We're going to be looking at you, Aquarius, and your person, okay? And we have this chakra, the throat chakra, needing to balance out your throat chakra and needing to listen. Something that is being said, you're not hearing it clearly, or let's see. So we have the eight of coins with the seven of coins. We have the queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the King of Swords here. This would definitely be you, Aquarius. Okay. So in your situation, Aquarius, I am definitely seeing you. Um, it's like... You've put a lot of work and effort into a situation and now you're just waiting for the effects within the physical world, okay? In the past, you had these ideas. I feel like something was tormenting you in the past, okay? Um, it was within the mind. You couldn't, you could have been, you know, staying up at night. You know, this is bad dreams. I'm seeing bad dreams, bad thoughts. Um, you had... A lot of energies coming to you. I 
feel like these energies just wanting like like it's it's within your mind okay there's something that was just holding you back trapping you back it's like wanting to set yourself free or perhaps someone wasn't listening to you or perhaps some kind of message was being brought to you and um you know there was unsureness you know there was unclarity there wasn't any clarity so to say okay i feel like you needed to make a decision as well here um but i'm also sensing aquarius that you have looked deep within okay you this is you studying here with the eight of coins this is you getting a new job a new apprenticeship this is you okay putting an effort for a relationship okay to take effect um you've planted that seed of intention you had a lot of fear around it that it wouldn't take place okay you want this queen of cups right here or perhaps you are wanting to get more in your um for the divine feminines it's wanting to express your emotions okay you're thinking about your emotions you're wanting to express your emotions with someone here um you're wanting to come together in union okay and also i feel that you will definitely this is a divine masculine or it could be a divine feminine but this is you standing in your power making a decision okay to move forward let's look at your person oh we have the page of cups And in this card, it's like he has his eyes closed, okay? And there is a figure. There is that woman. It's like he's imagining, he's dreaming, he's seeing, he's fantasizing, okay? And I'm feeling these messages coming through. Are you listening? Are you hearing them? Do you feel them? And I sense that you are, okay? For some of you, you are feeling your partner. So the king of coins, this is what's blocking your partner. So this could be someone, another energy coming in. This energy does, um, it could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, this is an energy of Taurus energy, so to say. Um, and it is a sense of, you know, having a business, okay? And wanting, this is about this person could definitely you know want to um take care of you this person is a thinking is negotiating with himself with his emotions okay within the physical about you know what they should do towards you they want okay and they have this passion to move forward with you they see you as this queen of coins okay this is what you want, Aquarius. This is what you're wanting. Okay. Um, you're wanting to awaken your emotions. And not only your emotions, but you, you're you wanting to awaken the way you feel. Okay. Um, for some of you, this is union. This is coming together. Um, this is a sense of something paying off as well. Okay. Um, we have a seven. So this is being divinely guided. Um, this person, I feel like Aquarius, you are waiting, okay? Um, your person's obstacle is, you know, this is the king of coins. This could be, they could be dealing with a karmic partner or they could definitely be um, dealing with a situation that involves um, Let me pull some more cards. Yeah, okay. So they have eight. They have um, being stuck in an illusion, okay? Being stuck in a lie, being stuck in a fantasy. It's like needing to take action, needing to move forward, okay? Um, maybe they're in a position where they can't just now. And I feel like in the past they have held back the truth, the, the word, the meaning. You know, this is um, listening. This is the intuition, okay? I feel like you're... You are sending messages to your person. However, it's like you guys are definitely marrying each other, so to say. And I feel like with the eight 
of swords here and this is a sense of um you know needing to break free okay break free from these intuitions and i feel like for some of you this is listening too much okay um for your person i feel like your person is feeling too much with their intuition for some reason that's what i'm getting here um so we have the moon card and the moon card is saying all is not is what it seems within this relationship. However, there is a lot of um, energy of wanting one to, um, you know, free themselves. Like it's like they want you to, this is a breakup. This is an ending. Okay. Okay now and i'm getting like why is this an ending here okay um so we have the nine of cups we have the lovers okay this is fulfilled being also it's like that since look at this the arrows have been you know it hurts love hurts you guys you know look at their backs this is the arrows of love okay they're being um giving this abundance of love um they're being called to rest as well um i'm also sensing there is a lot of communication here a three is a big number coming through here someone has definitely made a choice someone is definitely dreaming about um i feel like you know this is what you're not seeing someone is definitely making a decision okay this is choosing there could be a third party situation involved here okay um and i feel like aquarius this is you making that decision you're, you're really going within here okay you're really going within you have this nine here fulfilled you're emotionally fulfilled but you want that ace of cups okay you definitely want that ace of cups now there's something that your partner your partner is very intuitive is what i'm getting okay why do we have this five as the outcome here someone is crying someone is covering their eyes this could be Aquarius this could definitely be you you know there is a sense of um, knowing that you are protected okay um, your guides are right behind you it's like listening it's like yes needing to cover your eyes needing to hear from within okay all right this five here yeah finding that strength okay this is revisiting a situation you are revisiting a situation. Could be dealing with a Leo, but not necessarily. You're revisiting a situation, okay, that has um, a brought up a lot of old wounds, okay? You could be dealing with someone who is a fire sign or Leo specifically, um, Sagittarius, Aries. However, Aquarius, if this is you standing up for what you believe in, having that strength and having that boldness, okay, uh, behind, you know, it's like you're really guarding yourself right here. It's like you're not wanting to speak, but yet there is a sense of speaking here, okay? There's a sense of you feeling left out in the cold, but there's something that you're not hearing, that you're not seeing, and I'm going to pull some cards here from the shadow and light for aquarius sun moon rising venus march 2020 what are they not seeing here their person spirit guides guardian angels okay so we have the winged seer clear audience again you see clearly there is a message coming through a specific message coming through again it's highly making a decision okay um making a decision we have the winged stare 
there's eyes there's people are looking people are watching okay you can see it it's all around you um not only is it all around you but this is about being you know clairvoyance okay okay it's seeing very clearly that you know um in the past you've seen very clearly but it's time for you you know it's time for you to grab that sword okay this is what you're doing you're grabbing that sword and it's time for you to be brave and to walk that mountain of truth okay and right on the other side of that mountain it comes reality it comes the truth okay even though this love is strange this love is definitely guiding you okay to higher places um you're, you don't know what's going on or perhaps you have a hunch okay um for some of you you have a hunch um as you get to know this person you are extending your lighthearted energies to others um you are definitely forgiving and learning it says as you release and heal the past you experience more love and in the present moment so this is about healing the past wounds uh you clearly know what that is okay um but these cards wanted to flip out you clearly know what these past wounds are it says you guys have a lot of chemistry together and this is a sense of worth waiting for divine timing is at work it is at play so just know that your spirit guides are with you within this time okay and you're needing to uh, tune in a little bit within yourself okay let's get some energies from the moon here oh we have See, sometime in May, in May, there is going to be a tremendous awakening. There is going to be highs and lows. This is about um, bouncing out these emotions. Um, I'm sensing you guys need to um, either, you know, this is about... Yeah, it's going to be really hot. You guys need some water, drink some water. Um, a lot of passionate desires, a lot of emotions. You guys, could, you guys could be coming into union as well, okay? Because that is what needs to be done. Let's see. Let's see what, what's happening. Um, yeah, there was a lot of hot, hot extreme energies. Um, then we have creation. We have the beaver moon. So this is the time. Oh, and then we have the hunger moon. So again, these energies are coming through, okay? Um, let's see. And then we have October and we have January, okay? So January, and we also had February. So you guys, like last month, January, so January, February, May, In October okay very specific signs okay um, even for um, I'm also getting Leo very strongly here um, Aries very strong um, let's see I'm getting Libra Scorpio as well I'm getting um, Capricorn's energy even within those houses as well okay so divinely guided leave the past okay it's time to look towards the future this is a time for change you have a want and a hunger to create things. You are creating things. Be wise of what you think. Divine timing is at work. The hidden scrolls are being revealed. Okay. Wow, this is perfect energy. I want to get some cards here for you, Aquarius, through um, these healing with the angels. 
Okay. Oh, sacral chakra. It says you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivity by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. So you could be dealing with these, yeah, extreme energies, okay? And what you create is definitely going to manifest. So you need to listen in, okay? Um, and as you listen in, these energies are definitely going to be... It's true awakening. And you need to call on Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is here to protect you, okay? Here to protect you. Okay, Archangel Michael is a forceful energy. Um, and this is, I say this is Archangel Michael here. This is you, Aquarius. Okay, you are this angel. You you are this one that you, it says you're working very closely with this powerful Archangel. Who's protecting and guiding you through the situation. So you're going through a hard situation. You need to listen. Listen in, Okay. Listen in. You have, in the past, you know, you have this inner knowing, this deep knowing, okay? Even though it may seem strange, it may seem weird, there is a sense of, um, you know, protecting, okay? There's a sense of protection. Um, your person is definitely intuitively, um, like, they are definitely stuck on you, okay, Aquarius? They are definitely stuck on you. And you are definitely thinking about them as well, okay? So you are going to be making a decision. But within this decision, um, you're, you're needing to listen, okay? And you're needing to call in your spirit guides, Archangel Michael. You could be doing some uh, sacral chakra work as well. You could be balancing out your intuition. That would be your third eye chakra. Okay. This is your throat chakra. Okay. So you're not listening deep enough. This is a clear audience as well. I mean, clairvoyance. Clear audience is listening. Clear cognance is a deep inner knowing. And you have that. Okay. It's all here. It's all in your creation. You are creating this within your mind space. Okay. So be very mindful about what it is that you are thinking because it is manifesting. You know, um, your dreams are definitely coming true. Okay. Um, there is a situation here that involves a lover that calls you to make a decision. This is that archangel. Okay. Um, but you have made a decision here. Okay. You're waiting for that energy. You're waiting. It's like you've manifested it and now you're just waiting for it to come back to you. And with that being said, let's see. Yeah, you're waiting for this energy to come back to you. And this energy is definitely, um, a fiery energy. Okay. You're waiting for your queen or you could definitely be waiting to take action here or, you know, um, they are waiting. If you are divine feminine here, this is, um, you know, this is your lover manifesting you. Okay. And really believing in you and standing up for you. Okay. Now, if you are a divine masculine, you are having that strength and that boldness that it, takes okay it takes that strength and that boldness to stand up to anybody um that has been you know creeping around i want to say creeping around is it creeping around or lingering around um let's see we have strange valentine Okay, so it's having that strength and that courage to intertwine with your feminine or your masculine, okay? This is having that boldness to make that decision to guard what you want and 
your truth, your inner truth, your inner knowing. You guys definitely are in this energy of getting to know each other. Divine Masculine is, it is definitely saying, you know, it is a time to be brave. It is a time to really grasp the truth, okay, to heal any old karmic wounds. Um, your person is definitely, you are guided towards this person, okay? You are definitely being divinely guided. You feel these energies. It's like highs and lows. You feel this hunger and this need. This is you co-creating as well. Spirit is saying you guys definitely have chemistry. There's a lot of flirtatiousness here. There is, it, you know, this is definitely worth, worth waiting for, you know? You have this energy of coming together of you know wanting to spend time with one another this is about flirting this is extending your your energies towards one another in purity um and this is you know exchanging gifts as well having that chemistry having that um that creation okay when you guys come together there is a sense of healing Yeah, this is a Queen of Swords. Again, like I said, there is a power couple here. This Queen of Swords is definitely coming through. And I'm being called to pull some energies here. Your guides, guardian angels. One for the King of Swords and one for the King, Queen of Swords. Okay, so we have the escape artist. Okay, so may, sab may sabotage in to avoid hurt, afraid to be loved. So this person is really closed off or they could be closed off. They're not showing their real self. They're not showing you, you um, their communication. Um, So this is a sense of graduation, okay? So you are leveling up, okay? You guys both are leveling up. This is the real deal. You are seeing the light within each other, okay? Um, you are seeing these behaviors that need to be cut out within your life. What are these behaviors here? Okay, they're very exclusive, okay? Um, there is strategies here. It's saying to have a plan, communicate your plan, um, address it without attacking the person. You have to address it. Okay. And I feel like this person runs when, you know, or, you know, you run whenever love gets really strong or whenever it gets strong. Okay. Um, there is some habits that need to be broken. Okay. And if you guys stick together, there's definitely going, this is definitely going to be the real deal. I feel like you want to make a strategy here for you and your um, spouse, your relationships. What do you want? What do you desire? You need to put that all down on paper, okay? You need to really um, you're going through a different stage and it's very it, it, you know, it's this is your life partner is what it's saying, you guys. Congratulations. But it's like you're you're going back to it, okay? But it's when you, you're you going back to it, it's like you're leveling up, you know. It's like you're going at um it's like you're slowly making progress up, okay? And with these energies, you guys are definitely mirroring each other. And I want to get these energies with this escape artist here. So, yeah, it's like, you know, whenever you guys, you guys need to come together and uh, mingle. You guys need to talk. You guys need to open up and express one's heart, okay? Um, there could be some trust issues, that needs to be, um, 
looked at. There could be a wall that has been built. And I feel like um, between you and this person, and this could definitely be this, this had it, okay? So it says, the grass is greener. Passing up options too quickly to decide. Take time to know them. Gradually changes circumstances. So this is a person who does, gra this is a sense of gradually changing a circumstance, okay? This is mingling with the right people as well, okay? So I feel like you guys need to really find out who it is that you want to commune with, okay? And these destructive behaviors definitely need to be brought out. And with that being said, I feel like you two will definitely um, level up and you are graduation here. This is graduate. Um, this is definitely the root deal. Communicate exactly what you want to do. Have a strategy. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely hiding behind the truth. Um, hiding behind the, hiding behind, you know, the wall, the truth, the picture. The, what's the big picture here? You know, what is the big picture? And I want to just pull one card here for the big picture for you. For Aquarius, March 2020, this is in love. Okay, so we have jackpot. What? Jackpot. An inheritance, pregnancy. For some of you, congrat congratulations. You're going to get, um, you know, uh, this is being pregnant, giving birth. This is a gift. Abundance. This is abundance. This is life. This is um, joy. This is the eighth house, which is transformation. Um... Yeah, so you are definitely going to be receiving something, okay? And I feel like this is what you've been waiting for. This is definitely a jackpot. Jackpot, you won, okay? Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but not necessarily. What I'm sensing here is um, transformation, a sense of um, knowing, Let me turn to this page and I'm going to read it to you. So we have, give me a minute, please. Okay, so it says, So this is ruled by the sign uh, Scorpio, the zodiac sign, and Pluto, okay? So in a natal, natal planet in this house, and this is the eighth house, will stimulate your desires to experience transformation on all levels, physical, sexual, mental, and, mental and emotional. And that's what's going on right here. A lot of mental, a lot of listening, a lot of communication here, a lot of opening up, okay? Um, a lot of changes. There's changes that need to take place. And um, I feel like the divine masculine has a lot of passion as well. Now with it being in um, now with it being in reverse here It says, you are about to receive a gift of beautiful abundance. It may be an inheritance, a gift from your spouse, or even a pregnancy. This is the house of transformation for all. Be sure to express gratitude for this newfound bounty and prosperity. For joint resources and a relationship reading. 
The reverse eight house card may indicate that this relationship will transform both you and your partner. This card speaks to an instantly passionate sex life and bodies well for the material for the mutual sharing of joint resources. So you are going to be sharing things. Oh my gosh, I love this energy for you. Great reading. It says grass is greener on this side. You're needing to express yourself. Jackpot. You hit the jackpot, you guys. I love this reading. Okay, if you resonate, thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you later.